this episode of South Coast Spotlight. Hold on tight because we're going on a ride at the Santa Barbara Fair and Expo. Let's go green and beyond at the famous Earth Day Festival. Finally, let's head out to the one festival where you can choose what happens right now on South Coast Spotlight. Welcome to South Coast Spotlight. I'm Brianna Mellon, and in this program, we take you to the South Coast and show you what truly matters in your community. If you like preserving our oceans and helping our environment, then you'll love the next festival we take you to. Let's do it. Originating in 1970, the Earth Day Festival features workshops, film screenings, and more with environmental awareness at its center. I am portraying the medieval and renaissance green man. And it was a protector of the wildlands, an ancient pagan deity. We're collecting signatures to get an initiative on the ballot in November to ban fracking and other extreme extraction techniques um, that they would use to extract oil in Santa Barbara County. The Earth Day Festival provides a space to educate on important issues. It also allows locals to community build. I think it's important because it builds community. It's one of those few opportunities that we have to just come and connect with one another, to um, share information, to celebrate. You guys want to it's also um, a great place to like break bread and dance with friends and really just kind of build community and connect. Part of that community building includes getting people informed, involved, and help finding the organization that is right for them. We were all surfers and paddleboarders and kayakers and we heard about this thing called the trash gyre. And we had no idea what it was. And then when we learned about what it was, we were like, how does no one else know what a gyre is? How does no one else know about the single-use waste that's in our community, that's right here in our own coastal line? We all can be doing a lot more to help the environment. And when you come to Earth Day, you meet a lot of organizations that need volunteers, that need donors. So it's a good place to find an organization that um, resonates with your values. Culture, if we're not careful, will not reflect our love. Instead, it will reflect some of our bad habits, like wanting more than we need. So this is a day to really think about needs and wants and to come in alignment. The, one of the first organizations to embrace Earth Day in the country. Um, Earth Day was in fact a result of the Santa Barbara oil spill. Earth Day now gets 35, 40,000 people. Santa Barbara's Earth Day is one of the largest in the country. And I think it speaks to the level of interest in this community about preserving and protecting the environment. It's my pleasure this year to, present, to uh, uh, give the 2014 CEC Environmental Hero Award. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Salud Carbajal. You know what they say, if the people lead, your elected officials will follow. So I wish I could take more credit for the work I'm doing, but it's basically our work. On behalf of all of you, Everybody who does a little something or a big something to create a more resilient and sustainable world for our future generations, I accept this award on your behalf. The Community Environmental Council has five initiatives, and so you'll find all of those themes within the festival, whether it's the Green Car Show, whether it's our partnership with the Bicycle Coalition to bring in bike ballet, whether it's offering healthy, organic, local food, all of those initiatives are really kind of baked into the festival. The 2014 Santa Barbara Earth Day Festival, a perfect way to go green in your community. Hi, I'm Bria at the Santa Barbara Fair and Expo, celebrating a quarter century of family fun with food, farm animals, games, and rides. Let's take a look inside and see what all the excitement's about.
biggest event that we do here at the showgrounds during any given year, and it's uh, critical to uh, our budget. Uh, we're actually owned by the state of California, but we're not funded by the state of California. We're kind of on our own from a funding standpoint. And so it's a very important event for us to help uh, meet our budgetary goals. Santa Barbara Fair and Expo is in its 25th year. So this is our, our silver anniversary, and our theme for this year's fair is 25 years of fair magic. Everyone has a favorite carnival ride. What's yours? I think it will spin out because it goes like really high and upside down. And for those thrill seekers out there, don't worry. Butler Contracting keeps you safe on those crazy rides. Our contract with them had an outstanding safety record. They were known for having the, the clean, one of the cleanest carnivals in the business. So we just moved here just a matter of a few weeks ago from outside of Lompoc to Goleta area. And so we get to compare this to the flower festival that we've been for 20 some years. And this blows it out of the water, I have to say. This is an outstanding event. Have an experience unlike any other while you meet the friendly farm animals at the fair and even witness some stiff competition. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the big race We also have exhibits of artwork from local uh, children and adults. We have 4-H uh, and Grange type animal shows where they can come and, and show off the animals that they've groomed and, and, and taken care of. Uh, we have a, a lot of different animals here and kids that live in a, in a mostly a, a, a suburban or um, city environment don't get to see a lot of farm animals. So they can come down, touch the animals, talk to uh, people about how they're taken care of, learn. Uh, we had a, a, a person down milking a goat the other day, showing them how that was done. We had a lady down there spinning wool that was taken from one of the sheep. And we actually had, uh, we had one birth of a goat uh, yesterday, and I understand we're supposed to have two more today. So uh, all kinds of different things like that. And I'm involved with Santa Barbara County 4-H. And this is my 4-H project, one of the projects that I'm involved with. And basically, it's teaching um, the community about the watershed and the importance of cleaning up after yourselves so that the pollutants, like trash, don't end up into the ocean. What my booth is, is my work that I display, fish footage. This is what I use to take the pictures. Yeah, all of them. Basically, an ab abstraction of what you see on the ground. So I've shown in a lot of venues in town, uh, TVSB gallery I've shown at, a lot of venues, but never in an environment like this. It's a carnival and there's just a great place to people watch too. Almost kind of like a block party, I think, uh, because people, you, you walk out there and you go, oh, I see your neighbor from down the street, see somebody you haven't seen for a couple of years, you'll, you'll see everybody in town pass through here. Go guys, look at them go. They're heading straight towards the top now, not <laughs> That was the 25th annual Santa Barbara Fair and Expo. Come out next year and hopefully you can win some prizes just like I did. Lucidity is an open source festival where all attendees co-create the event by providing art, music, and channeling their wildest dreams. Once a year at the Live Oaks Campground, Santa Barbara hosts the Lucidity Festival. The Lucidity Festival brings together musical talent, workshops, and fine art enriching the festival as a visual voyage. They encourage people to get involved by bringing art, participating in workshops, and portraying a character from their dreams to be silly, wild, and free. 
was actually a community co-inspired co-creation. Uh, a number of us from the Santa Barbara Arts and Consciousness communities came together and we had a collective brainstorming session. We knew we wanted to create events together, but we didn't know what they were going to look like and we didn't know what the values at the core of those events were going to be. So we, we brainstormed and, uh, and we came up with seven core values that continue to be the core values uh, around which everything sort of uh, revolves. Those values are participation and immersion in the artistic process, personal growth and healing, Awaken Aware Consciousness, Social and Environmental Responsibility, Family Fun and Creative Play, Transparency, and Communal Reciprocity. You can feel all those things around in everything that we do. Um, those core values are really the inspiration behind Lucidity. This year is year three. Uh, the theme of this year is Universe. It's chapter three. We have a six-year story meta-narrative where each year is a different chapter. What's We've got Nako here, and uh, Nako's one of our headliners. He's going to be on our live stage tomorrow night. Yeah, I would say that uh, there's uh, a, a really great gathering of um, really beautiful people from all over the world, I would say, that come, yeah. have come here. And uh, it's my first time, but when you enter into a situation where you're not really sure what's going to happen, when there's a bunch of really beautiful people gathering, you never know what's going to happen, but the vibe, you can kind of just feel the good, the good vibe like right when you're rolling into the park here. And um, yeah, so I would just say that, you know, some people may like, you know, people from the outside who aren't coming in might be like, oh, what's going on down there at the like, campground, you know? But uh, just so you know, there's just a lot of really uh, beautiful and in intentional people here that are um, storytellers and poets and artisans and, um, and, uh, and, and citizens of the, of the earth that have come to sort of um, share, uh, share stories and, 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 and share prayers so that we can leave this place and take, uh, take what we've learned here and, um, and, and give it back to the communities that we've come from. We knew that people attending this event are aware and open-minded enough to either learn about environmental issues or help us perpetuate uh, a change in, in, a, in a positive manner. If you want to get involved, all you have to do is look up Lucidity Festival or Environmental Awareness, Advocacy, any of the schools, UCSB, Antioch University, Santa Barbara City College, someone will be able to direct you to a good resource in how to get involved and be part of our community. We're growing every year and, and we need more people who care about what we're here for, which is each other. I've come here ever since the beginning of the Lucidity Festivals. My sister brought me to my first music festival. It was an extremely life-changing experience for a lot of reasons. Um, the first and foremost, it affected my conscious, my subconscious. I dream about Lucidity all the time. The second year I came here, I found a location that I had been dreaming about. So it's just a magical territory. I came here this year to not only receive from the festival, but to give. I'm a hairstylist full time and I want to give as much as I can. I love my craft and I want to share it with everybody. So tomorrow I'm doing haircuts and braids and scalp massages and just kind of spreading the love and the joy that I have been receiving the past three years that I've been coming here. It's definitely gotten a lot bigger this year. I saw that the tickets sold out, so that's awesome. I've heard that they have a lot of the backing that Burning Man has, that support, so that is extremely awesome. A lot of the stages are a lot bigger, more elaborate. Lucidity has a lot of workshops and a lot of things that you could take away from it, not only just going and raging at the stage. As the Lucidity Festival continues to grow, they look forward to sharing next year's journey with you. Well, that does it for today's episode of South Coast Spotlight. Tune in next time as we continue to cover the local events in your community. If you have ideas for future segments, email us at info at Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.